The massive red tide blooms on our shorelines last year did a number on the fish population. While tons of dead fish washed on shore, efforts are now underway to try to beef up the fish population now that there's no red tide. This release of 2,000 redfish at Robinson Preserve in Bradenton today is a group effort from the Coastal Conservation Association of Florida, Duke Energy, and Florida Fish and Wildlife. It's made possible with a $150,000 grant. This month, more than 8,000 redfish have been released in Pasco, Hillsborough, Pinellas, and Sarasota counties. And next month, another 6,000 will be released in South in Lee Collier, Lee Collier and Charlotte counties. One single adult redfish, um, when it spawns, can produce between a million and two million eggs. Um, and that's where, that's where the benefit comes in, um, getting those fish into the water and, and ready uh, to spawn and start reproducing to, to help build the stocks back to what they were. It'll be slow, but it'll recover, and this will help. That's a good thing. The hatchlings will grow over the next 16 months to become what's considered a keeper size, which is at least 18 inches. Otherwise, you got to release them back into the water. Right now, you can only catch and release both redfish and snook until May 10th in all of the waters in and around the Bay Area that were affected by red tide.